Okay, so once you get down to five stitches, um, your marker would have been right there. There are two different ways you can bind off before you do the knitted and fringe, or drop the stitches for the knitted and fringe, rather. If you do a regular bind off, you start by knitting one stitch, knitting a second, and then binding one off. So the thing is with this one is that it takes up two stitches and you only have three left. Um, so your fringe will be just a little bit shorter. I'm going to back it up and show you another way to do it. So you can just cut your extra end of your yarn and thread it through this one stitch. And that secures the one stitch. You'll weave that end in and then you're going to drop these stitches off and begin to let them unravel and fall down. So with each row, you'll start to get a loop. So this is your fringe, but to keep it from unraveling further, you've got to knot it. So there, again, more than one way to do it. You can take two knots, tie them together, and then either leave your fringe looped or cut them. Or you can take each fringe on its own and tie it into a knot that way. And then you'll just push that knot close up to the edge. So I think I'm going to do this method and leave my fringe looped. But if you want it regular fringe, you just cut each one after you're done. And cut it. And voila! Scarf with fringe. It's a nice large rep. You can wear it like this. <laughs> or like so. And you're ready for spring.